Hi everybody. Welcome to the Plastic Russian International. So I'm back in the UK uh, for a short period of time, fingers crossed. And this is my hometown. Uh, I thought I would uh, give you some insight into, uh, I'm gonna say, I'm not gonna say typical UK seaside town because I've been out of the country for a while and I'm not sure what's typical anymore. Um, but this is my hometown. And um, it's sad, I've got to say. It's sad to see it like this. Uh, the rubbish everywhere. And if you're a regular viewer of my channel, you know I've got a thing about rubbish and rubbish bins. And this is really why. Um, it is just, it's just everywhere. So Kokoro, that's uh, something that I like to eat. And we'll just add a bit of Kokoro. And uh, we're just gonna take a walk up through the center of the town. Um, and uh, give you a glimpse into the main high street, which is where we are. And the pavement is in a bad state, it certainly got worse. The trees don't help that. And there's a market on at the moment where you can come and get your fresh, your fresh stuff rather than going to the supermarket. So we've got a little market going on. Costa Coffee I was in there earlier today, not that particular one, but another one. And uh, had a coffee, only a medium. It was three pounds sixty, about four hundred rubles for a coffee, which was uh, quite interesting. Um, apologies for the camera and audio. It is literally my phone. I haven't got any kit with me. And a very impromptu um, video. Just decided to walk through the, the middle of the town. Uh, and yeah, like I say, it is sad that this once lovely town um, where royalty used to come. Um, Sorry, I've just got an interruption in my phone then, so I'm sorry, I've probably missed a little bit of that. Um, yeah, it's just sad that this once lovely town has ended up how it is at the moment. I like to think there'll be some changes in government and they'll actually put some money into the infrastructure and um, we'll get this town back on its feet. But, yeah, who knows? So we're coming up to a place called The Beacon, which is an indoor shopping centre and last time I was inside there there was about two thirds of the shopping units inside the shops that were occupied there was a third that were empty um, so there isn't the demand um, so yeah so we've got some opticians we've got Starbucks McDonald's so, my Russian viewers, remember this? Well, it ain't any different, we've just got a different sign. It's still called McDonald's here. And we've got a wimpy that's come back. This, this went away and came back. Um, used to be a very traditional English place to go for food. We've got a KFC. And there are a lot of um, charity shops in, in Eastbourne. Um, and by charity shops, I mean you give your unwanted stuff to them for free and then they sell it. Um, so, yeah, you can, uh, you can debate that all day and debate how the money is spent. I know there's an awful lot of charities that, uh, you know, hide under the banner of a charity, but really it's a profitable organisation where the managers are earning 200 grand a year. So, yeah, charity begins at home, and I think you're better off giving it directly a lot of the time. 
but certainly if you've got some unwanted stuff because I've got it at the charity shop why not probably cost you money to get rid of it here so that's um, a little walk through the main high street and we're going to go past uh, the railway station so this is an old building that's got a, a bit of a facelift recently because I think the roof it was, I can't remember if there was a fire or um, or it just uh, collapsed maybe in the storm there might have been an issue and it got redone it's just got to keep my wits about me because uh, I can't remember what side of the road I'm driving on or walking on so so yeah past uh, Eastbourne railway station actually let's have a quick walk through because we can come in this side and go out the other Very old architecture. Love the old lamps. And it gives a place for these things. We call them sky rats. Um, but it gives somewhere for the pigeons to come and live, which they enjoy out of the cold. This is what we used to call the indoor market, but it um, kind of had a facelift and it's now uh, the Enterprise Shopping Centre. So it's lots and lots of little shops. A um, little bit off the beaten track, so it tends to be the sort of shops that people look up that want to go rather than pass in trade. Um, so you get um, eclectic kind of shops in there, you know, like suit hire is in there. Uh, a friend of mine actually runs a business in there. Um, life in hands as I cross the road. Oh. oh I was going to have a pizza in there. Oh, it's gone. So that uh, building opposite where I'm filming now used to be a pizza place. Quite nice, you just get a nice big pizza in there and a bit of chili oil. Nice, uh, it's gone. No, that's a shame, but is what it is. And the charity shop. And this particular place looks like it's closed as well. Oh, it's been, yeah, that's gone as well. That's been there years as well. Blimey. It's been there as long as I can remember. There you go. Hmm, oh, okay. That's well, a couple of places that have gone since uh, I've been over in Russia. Now, this is always nice. It's changed names a couple of times. Um, but uh, you've got um, a hot plate in the middle of your table. So depending on what you select from the menu, you can uh, cook your own food right in the middle of the table. And it's nice, it is nice. They do lovely Korean chicken in there and it's gorgeous. So definitely want to pay a visit to that. More charity shops, there's quite a few up this street actually. And the local police station and uh, council building. And a bit further up we've got the town hall and a big clock, which I'm going to zoom into now. We'll get a closer look in a minute. Litter bin, you know I love litter bins. Now, there's a couple. I don't know if you've noticed, we've come from down in the town where there was the odd one and mess everywhere to this neck of the woods where there's a couple and there's probably a couple more further up and it's a bit cleaner. Yeah, I hate 
hate to state the obvious. No, I don't. I enjoy stating the obvious. Put some bloody bins in the place so people have got somewhere to throw their rubbish rather than on the floor. Huh. See? Nowhere for it to go, so it goes on the floor. Oh, nice little um, cafe. Beans, coffee kitchen. It's quite nice eating in there a couple of times for breakfast. Business meetings. And there's a, a rare site. I think they're starting to pop up again. Um, sort of a local butcher's, just a, a butcher's shop for your meat. They pretty much died out completely when the supermarkets came big. Um, but they start doing, to sort of make a reappearance, I've noticed, which is a good thing. Um, let's face it, nobody wants to buy supermarket meat, unless they have to. But uh, we all got lazy when the big supermarkets came along. Funeral service. I better take their number. Heading that way, aren't I? So this building, this used to be, and probably still is the police station, I'm not sure. And the police workshops through that door where they used to do the servicing of the police vehicles. And that used to be the main door for the police station. And now there's a bloke there having a drink and uh, set up residence. Um, and then this is the town hall. Oh, pleasant character. Uh, so this is the town hall where you can go and get married and uh, register your deaths and births and that kind of thing. Again, lovely old building, lovely old architecture. So we're just gonna head a little bit out of town now. Couldn't decide whether it was going to let me go or not. Decided to in the end. Open church. And this is a good pub on the left. Um, it's uh, quite a large pub. There's always somewhere to sit. And they've usually got some, some things going on. And that homeless guy outside the police station is shouting at the top of his head. Dear, oh dear. Uh, yeah, it's quite a lot of homeless, I have to say, um, in Eastbourne, through the centre of the town and along the seafront, um, especially along the seafront and especially in the evening. Um, how do I feel about that? I don't know, really. There's two sides to it, isn't there? If the guys haven't got anywhere to go, where do they go? Um, so... But the flip side of it is, it's supposed to be a tourist town. And uh, if you've got a load of homeless, drunk people, it's not very attractive for tourists. Oh, is every driver's worst nightmare? The wasps, as we call them. The reason we call them wasps is one, they look like wasps. And two, they'll always sting you. Parking enforcement officers. Right, okay, well, hopefully that's given you a glimpse into the uh, town centre of my hometown. And uh, we'll wrap this one now. I'll catch you in the next one. Please remember to subscribe to The Plastic Russian. And I'm going live tonight on a live stream, so tune in if you're bored.